All right, we're here in round one. My computer froze, so unfortunately for me, I've lost four minutes, but we will play first. And what do I think of this hand? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I would like a white mana, but this hand appears like it can do something, maybe with Gloom Surgeon, so. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll give this a go. Not a great hand, but see what we can do with it. Maybe top deck of planes and start doing a good turn progression. Or a six drop. He has to read it. Understandable. He's got to make sure I'm playing the right card. He's like, hmm, he's actually playing that card. Curious. Who knows, maybe Gloom Surgeon's going to do some damage. Red white, so it's probably yes, human deck of some sort. All right, so 100% keeping the gloom surgeon back now. And well, at least we got a land drop. Unfortunately, our color that we don't have. So we'll just sit here, let our opponent continue. So planes, and we'll definitely just drop the justicar. We get some more lands, we can get this Dread Slaver online, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, it was a pretty weak keep on my part, but um, I felt like as long as I got a white source, it was going to work out fine. Okay. Chose not to soul bond. Well, the Gloom Surgeon is at least keeping him at bay. That was a good draw. Okay, so four mana. Yeah, I guess we just play the Justicar here. Just maximize the mana usage. That guy is definitely clunky, so getting him out, I have a feeling, is good. Definitely could have attacked there, but uh, then I still run the risk of getting soul bonded and he swings back. Although at this point I'd probably trade a pilgrim for a Justicar. Alright, Scalding Devil. Ooh, with lifelink. That's a nasty little synergy. Pretty cool. A little bit clunky, but cool nonetheless. Alright, so definitely getting in with Gloom Surgeon now. Ooh. Almost out of seclusion. It's pretty good with Gloom Surgeon. Fortunately, I'm still a mana away. Um, I don't think we're on the homicidal seclusion plan just yet, so I think the plan is we swing for two. And drop our explorer. And pass the turn. He's got to keep a lot of resources available to really get some value out of this guy. Let's see if that, that appears to be what he's doing. Um, okay, well, I guess the plan continues. 
Smash with these guys. He's taking it all. Alright, then we play the Executioner. Pass the turn. In a little bit of a hurry since I'm already five minutes uh, lower than where I should be. I would like to get this Dread Slaver online. Nice thing is, Justicar can deal with single fatties. Yeah, that's acceptable. He doesn't have good attacks here. Undead Executioner is seeing to that. Alright. Um, I'm willing to take a beating from the voice, so I think we'll just drop our Dread Slaver now. Get our little bad boy online. I like this guy a lot. I think he's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I do not have any good attacks here, so I'm just going to pass. Next turn I can get in with the Dread Slaver though, and that's pretty sweet. So plan now, as of now, uh, attacking with Dread Slaver and following turn tapping the voice of the provinces or he's not even all right him doing that just makes my job easier so I'm totally willing to take three here all right well the fact that he's attacking tells me he's probably got a pretty sweet follow-up play so let's see what it is Seven drop? It's probably Archangel. We passed one earlier. Gold Knight Redeemer. Alright, so he gains a trillion life. Okay. Alright, well, that trumps us pretty good. Uh, I guess we play our own Voice of the Provinces. Unfortunately, no value attacks to be had at this point. Uh, yep, I can't really attack with anything, so we'll pass. So, the plan. What is the plan? That is a good question. Um, well, we can keep... This guy will definitely block this guy if he's going to present... If he's going to give that opportunity up. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be taking four if he attacks with that, or tapping it on his next turn so I can start getting in. So that's the plan as of now. This card's pretty sweet. I suppose a sack outlet would have been pretty good right about now to sack that executioner, kill whatever I want. Uh, we could always get Deathwind off the top, that would be nice. Oh, so I suppose it's going to give first strike to the Voice of the Provinces and swing for seven. It's a pretty big deal, but um, I'm not going to block with the Voice if he gives it first strike. Okay, he did the obvious play. He has more plays. And he has an Archwing Dragon. All right. Well, this game is slipping away from us, unfortunately. Oh, let's see. Can I afford to take a trillion damage this turn? I'm pretty sure I can't. Um, I think I'm going to die next turn if I do. Let me think. I take 10 here, and the next turn I tap is 4-4. Four, four. Yep, it's definitely lethal. 
Uh, what do I do to not die? Is there anything cool I can do to not die? Yeah, I suppose we just stop four damage. Don't really have a ton else we can do here. Um, just getting bashed unmercifully. Um, let's see what we can do here. Just taking so much damage. It's really bad. Deathwind? No. No removal. But I have so much. Alright. So, we swing with Explorer and Slaver. He's probably just going to take it. Because I don't see why he would care. He's just annihilating us with ginormous flyers. Unfortunately, it does not work with tokens, so we'll play our Valiant and pass turn. So, um, I think we live for one more turn and then we're going to die, but that's okay. We tried. Always have game two. What am I going to do in game two? I don't know. I guess hope to see some removal, because we're going to need it. We're going to need all that removal I picked. It's really... Make sure we can win this. I think I'm actually just dead, but let's see how he attacks. I mean, if he attacks right, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm dead. I don't know how I could not be. Yeah, and in fact, I'm just gonna, in the interest of time, I think I'm gonna concede. I'm, I'm just gonna die to Scalding Devil if you didn't already see that, so. Alright, lost to uh, huge flyers. Just didn't see any removal though, so I'm going to use that as my excuse, I believe. I don't really know uh, what else, what other problems I can really say besides just not seeing Deathwind and not seeing Righteous Blow and stuff like that. I guess Righteous Blow wouldn't have protected me from 4-4 four, four Flyers, but Deathwind and Necrobite would have, so not seeing removal is pretty devastating. I guess Homicidal Seclusion looked pretty awful that game, so is there anything I want to replace it with? No, I still think that it, still think it could do good for us, otherwise I'm bringing in Unhallowed Pact, but considering how much removal I saw last game, might not be the best idea. Um, let's just keep it how it is, and, uh, I don't know, hope to do something. Hope to beat our opponent, I guess. Hope to, uh, see some removal and see it in the right, uh, point of the game. So, on to game two. Alright, we'll play first. And, unfortunately, we have to mulligan this. And this is a bad hand, but... I'm going to keep it because we have a Deathwind. So, starting off, pretty sketchy in. Fortunately for us, our, I guess our opponent mulled to five, so it makes me feel a little bit better, but still feel pretty, pretty unsure about this hand. We're going to need one of our eight planes pretty fast. Or at least some land. I'll settle for any land at this point. And that's sad. But such is life. These things happen.
guess we're pretty lucky our opponent mulled to uh, five, or that would have been a lot worse. Alright, so my plan as of now, depending on if I get a mana or not, I did not. So we're going to swing. Definitely not blocking. We're going to pass turn, keeping up our Necrobite. If the uh, opportunity presents itself, I will definitely use the Necrobite. But that is just a removal spell. Can I do anything? No. Okay. Cloud Chaplain. Um, I think I'd rather kill the Near Heath Pilgrim, the Life Linker. More likely to win this without uh, having to deal with that than just trying to protect my angelic armaments. So, I guess we'll just kill the Pilgrim. Kind of a waste of a death wind, but I, I'm not getting the ideal draws, unfortunately. So I think I'm just sort of forced into doing it like that. Okay, so now I'll drop our executioner. So planes off the top, any land at least we can start playing our five drop rares is good. Um, as of now, I'm taking the Devout Chaplain. No reason to give up value on uh, on that Executioner. Cool with taking two there. Okay. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, that was a good draw. Alright. So now we can start getting in. Um, much rather play the Herald of War first, just because this has the potential to go off faster if he can't keep up with it. So we'll see if he's got the defang. Which would be a pretty good, pretty good answer for the Herald. Attacking into it tells me he's got a trick. So even if he doesn't have a trick, I'll take three here. I mean, we're cracking back for more. So I'm cool with taking three and uh, playing around a trick. Like, uh, what would his trick be? I don't know. Pillar of Flame. Like, I don't even want the two for one. I feel like this Herald of War could that easily take over the game where I don't even want to deal with. Uh, I don't even want to deal with my opponent two for one himself. I'd rather just swing in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Alright, so we'll get in there for a bunch. And ideally our voice of the province is gonna be cheaper as well. Because of our Herald. If he attacks with everything, I think I still would not block, only because I actually have 10 power on board. So if he is planning on some sort of combat trick, or even a follow-up creature, I mean, there's a good chance that I could top deck, you know, my second Deathwind, or, or some other uh, removal that I have in here to, like, deal with it. Ugh. 
I mean, this game does look favorable at the moment, but he's got some good creatures in there. That Gold Knight Redeemer is dirty. Thankfully, we have the Necrobite this time, which looks pretty good. I like that you can just use this to, like, regen a guy, too. So it's really nice, just like uh, a black uh, creature protection. It's, like, kind of fulfilling the same role as, like, Undying Evil, stuff like that. Or in green, the... Uh, uh, stuff that gives hexproof and stuff like that. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to take three here. Just because I have ten damage. Or, yeah, ten damage on board. Actually, I, I could have blocked the devil with the human. Because I still would have ten damage on board with the Herald of War. But. We'll just leave all our guys here. I mean, we're, we're substantially winning this race right now. Okay. All right. So removal spell and it's over. No. Okay. So we attack with everything but the human. I suppose I could have attacked with the human, actually. That might have been brighter. I mean, we're still threatening lethal, so he's forced to block here. Which is the perfect position to be in. And I will kill the devout chaplain over the scalding devil. Just because even if he wastes the mana putting into it at this point, it's not going to save him. So I do like that he's forced to chump block here. That's good. We're getting super mega value out of our executioner. I, I should have just attacked with the human, but I don't know. Playing it overly safe. Could have hasty guys. Wait, he does have that uh, archwing dragon, but thankfully that doesn't kill us either. Even in conjunction with his devil. Alright, so we'll play our dread slaver, which he already knows about, and pass the turn. Surprisingly, we overtook our opponent on time. I'm usually a person who uses a lot of my time, so I guess it's kind of good that we're this far along. Yeah, already in game three. Okay, so thankfully our opponent had to mull to five there because we didn't have the uh, greatest opener I've ever seen. Uh, I still think our deck's, like, set up fine against him. That game we at least saw the Deathwind and turned off that lifelink really early on. We're just able to tempo him out. I really think if we get these demons online, he's going to have a hard time with those. A lot of his guys are, like, two power, and his flyers are, like, the real four power guys, so... I don't have a problem with him blocking that. Still haven't seen Defang, so no reason to bring in Curse Break that I know of. Uh, Leap of Faith is probably... Eh, I don't think it's really necessary. I guess it's okay with ex Executioner. Wait, is it prevent all damage that would be dealt to him? No, that doesn't even work. No, there's really not that much that uh, Leap of Faith would help in our deck. I guess Renegade Demon or something, but... No, I, I think we're okay. Um, I, I still think this seclusion looks a little weirdo in this deck because we just have a lot of creatures. But, I mean, I can see board states where this could win games. So, uh, okay, we'll start it. All right. At least we have a good hand. Um, we're going to need mana, but for now we've got removal and we have a two-drop creature. Really can't ask for much more from a hand. I mean, we're fixing both colors, too. So no mulligan. going to try and make kind of quick decisions here just because time is kind of an issue. Um, 
easily kill the lifelinker again. I still don't think I have a problem with that. Maybe I want to save this for his bombs. His bombs are only like three and four uh, toughness guys, so not like, uh, you know, huge concerns. I think he has two of those clerics because he's he's played those a lot. Ooh, that guy's kind of a problem. Uh, kind of want to feel kind of feeling uh, death winning that now, uh, especially with that horrendous draw. Okay, so we're just gonna kill this guy. I decided. Um, yeah, kill that guy. Get him out of the way. Don't even want to deal with like guys of flame on this and then getting value. That's just way too good. So we'll take that guy out of commission now. Really hope we don't miss our land drop next turn, but at least we have a play if we do. Maybe he misses his land drop, we can only hope. Get our land, yeah, that was awesome, alright. So we're getting in there. Uh, not planning on blocking this turn, because I've got the Necrobites, which I would like to use. I might just, uh... Might just stall to this homicidal conclusion plan. Doesn't seem horrible. Blocks and attacks. Well, that kind of sucks. Now this necrobite comes a lot less useful since when they destroy this, it actually takes it out of combat. So I don't even get a sweet opportunity to uh, kill it with death touch. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, what would I like to draw here? I don't know. Other Deathwind. Um, Righteous Blow would be perfectly acceptable. On an Executioner, hopefully we can get him online. Otherwise, we're in a little bit of trouble. I think as of now, the plan is I'm still going to waste the Necrobite um, just to prevent two damage, which is really, really poor, but I'm missing my land drops, so I don't really have a ton of other options here. Him getting his land drop there is pretty relevant too. Um, he'll probably bust out some sweet four drop here. So uh, need a land at this point. We're in. We're in getting our face beat down mode right now. So really, really need a land. So this guy's going to get bigger and get trampled, which sucks. Alright, so we block first striker. Force to play our Necrobite, which actually does nothing. Except save our Valiant. Okay, so he's going to first strike kill our guy, remove it from combat. We don't get to kill this guy back, which sucks, but hey, sometimes you have to play Necrobite for really bad nothingness. Alright, well, Gloom Surgeon. Yeah, Gloom Surgeon. <laughs> Chump Blocker, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I might as well swing in for two while that thing still doesn't have first strike. Yep, land, uh, land was really, really important there.
funny too how good both of these first strike is. It's amazing how good it is on against my board state right now. It's like the absolute most devastating <laughs> position it could be in right now. Just so so devastating. Because <laughs> I can't even double block because he can kill both my guys. It's like, oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Um, actually saving myself the one damage is actually relevant here since he has me on a two turn clock with that archwing dragon. Um, this is awful. This is just awful. Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been real good. Wait a second. Oh, I see how that worked. That that combat did not work like I thought it was going to. See, I figured it was almost like... That's pretty crazy, actually. So, if I block the Kroon Striker instead... God, if I had blocked different, I think that would have been way better for me. God, this card is better than I thought. Uh, I still think I'm on the fast track to losing this game, unfortunately, because he's got a big flyer and I can't play any of my four drops. But, um, yeah, let's just pass the turn here, I guess. Yeah, land there would have been, actually, a lot better. Substantially better. But uh, as it is, we're, we're definitely losing against Archwing Dragon, I mean... I can't do anything. Sitting here just getting my face beat in with three lands. Looks like he didn't know about the Gloom Surgeon either, otherwise may have attacked there. Okay, can I do anything? Planes will at least buy me some time? No? Just give me a six drop, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, we pretty, uh, we lost just really horribly. <laughs> just got annihilated. Alright, well, lessons learned from this draft. I think Gloom Surgeon is actually better than I gave him credit for. Uh, what else did I learn from this draft? Um, I don't think black-white is like a combination that I typically want to go into in Avacyn Restored, but um, I, I think it's actually fine. You, there's probably some good synergies that, that I don't even know about. So um, I learned some lessons. Hopefully in my future drafts I'll be able to get out of the first round here, but till then I'm, I'm in uh, uh, two drafts in a row kind of slump here, so hopefully we'll get some improvement soon. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of money. So I'll see you guys next time.